What is DocuSign document visibility? When should you use it? So when can it be helpful? And how do you make it work? Those are all the questions I'm going to answer in this video. DocuSign document visibility is a feature that allows you to control who can see and who cannot see documents that are contained within the same DocuSign envelope. Let's just say that I'm a project manager and I'm finalizing a business transaction which involves two vendors. And as part of the transaction I'm trying to finalize, I need to get each vendor to sign a document. And I want all these documents to be contained in the same envelope. I don't wanna have to send different envelopes to each vendor. And so in this specific envelope here, I've got one document called equipment supply contract. And I want this document to be signed by vendor A. And I also have another document that is called my service agreement. And this one needs to be signed by vendor B. And I only want the first document to be visible by vendor A. And I want the second document to be only visible by vendor B. And throughout the transaction, I, as the project manager, want to be able to see all the documents. Well, that's exactly what DocuSign document visibility is for. And I'm going to show you now how you can set it up. And if you're wondering who I am, my name is Sofian Saudi. I was previously working for DocuSign as an implementation consultant. And since 2019, I founded Solution Consulting, where we've been helping organizations create DocuSign templates, forms, and integrations so that they don't have to waste time trying to fight with DocuSign and trying to figure it all out. If this is something that you're interested in, you can schedule a consultation with one of our document automation consultants using the link just down below. During the call, we'll map out your workflow and strategize the best implementation for your needs. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and want to learn how you can set it up yourself, I invite you to download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet using the link just down below. It will help you understand the DocuSign fundamentals very quickly so you can hit the ground running. So the first thing that we want to do is head to our DocuSign settings. You can only access settings if you're an admin, so just make sure that you are using an admin user when you're logged in. And then you want to go to the sending settings. Once you're here, find the document visibility section and then click on this drop down to see all of the options. Now, if you don't see that menu in your DocuSign account, it's because you're not on an enterprise plan or you don't have the advanced workflow add-on on your DocuSign business pro account. So if you don't see this, but you want the feature, you're going to have to reach out to your DocuSign account executive and ask them to put you on the right plan. Now, let me walk you through the five different options that you've got here. If you choose off, all the documents will be, will be shown to all the recipients inside of the envelopes. If you, if you choose one of the two options that start with must, then it means that you as the sender of the document will not have the ability to change the settings on a per envelope basis. If you choose one of the two options that start with the word sender, it means that you as the sender or anyone else using your DocuSign account to send a document will be able to choose, will be able to customize the document visibility settings each time they send an envelope. So this is important. So you choose must if you don't want senders to be able to change that setting and you choose sender if you want the senders to be able to change the setting each time they send a document for signature. Now within must, we have two different options. You can choose the first one if you want the documents to be visible to the sender as well as any recipients who is also part of the sender's DocuSend account. For example, if I send a document to two people. One of these two recipients is part of my sending account. So they are maybe a colleague that I work with. Then that colleague will be able to see all the documents. However, if, this, if the other recipient is not part of my sending account, so if they are external to the organization and therefore external to the DocuSend account, then that person will not be able to see the documents. And if you choose the second must option, it does not matter whether some of the recipients are part of the sender's account. If they don't have a field on the document, they will not be able to see the document unless they are the sender themselves. So that second must, must means that if I'm sending the documents to two people and one of them is a colleague who is also part of my DocuSign account, one of them is external, they're not part of our account, none of them will be able to see the documents unless they have a field on the documents. Now let's talk about the two senders option. The first one means that the sender when sending the documents can choose at the envelope level and the template level whether 
people who are part of the sending account can also see the document. So this one is very similar to this one. It's just that here you can set it up each time at the envelope level or template level, as opposed to here, it's going to be applied across all the envelopes of sent from the account. And the last option is exactly the same as this one, except that it is not permanent. They can set it at the envelope or template level. So each time they send an envelope, they will be able to decide whether recipients who are also part of the sending account will be able to see the documents or not. And if they choose this, then it doesn't matter whether they are part of the same notification account. If they don't have a field on the document, they will not be able to see the document at all. There's no right or wrong option here. It really depends on the level of confidentiality that you need to apply to the documents. It's really up to you. I'm going to go with this option, but it really depends again on what you want to do. Don't forget to scroll down and click on save if you made some changes. And now we're gonna go to the templates. We're now back inside of our templates and let's just check the workflow. So we have vendor A and vendor B signing both in position one. And then I have myself, the project manager, signing in position two. I'm gonna click next and show you the fields. These are the fields for the project manager. So naturally we can see them in both documents, but then these fields here are visible or assigned to vendor A and these fields here are assigned to vendor B. Now I need to turn on document visibility in my template since I did not select the setting that turns on visibility by default. So I need to go inside of my advanced options. I'm gonna to go to actions and advanced options. And here I'm gonna check this box. By checking this box, the recipients will only be able to see documents if they have fields on the documents. I'm gonna click on save, and then I'm gonna go here and document visibility. In this table here, I can check who is going to be able to see what. And so here I have a vendor A who is going to be able to see the first document, but vendor B is not able to see it. And then it's the other way around for my service agreement. Vendor B can see it, but not vendor A. However, project manager can see both documents. And the reason for this is not just because vendor A is also the sender, it's because vendor A has fields on that first document as well as on this document as well. So I'm gonna click on save and close and then we're gonna do a test. Here, I'm just going to add vendor A. Pro tip, when you're testing your envelopes, just make sure that in the name and the email, you differentiate, um, you add the, the actual role name. It helps a lot knowing whose envelope you're actually testing. All right, so I filled out all my recipient workflow. I'm going to click on send and now we're going to look at what the envelope looks like for each recipient. Here's the DocuSign email notification that I've just received and I've just opened the two DocuSign envelopes uh, side by side. As you can see, there is only one document in each. Vendor B is seeing document for vendor B and vendor A is only seeing document for vendor A. I'm going to sign this for both and we'll see what happens next. Now, what should happen is that the project manager should receive the uh, document to countersign. Here is the DocuSign notification for the project manager. I'm going to open that envelope now and see what's in the envelope. Here I should see two documents. And here are my two documents. I'm going to sign this as well. So our visibility rule is definitely working. And let's just wait for the DocuSign completion email and see what it contains. This is the envelope completion notification sent to vendor A. And as you can see, we only have one document. We are not seeing the second one. This is the same for vendor B. And we only have one document as well. And this is the completion email for the project manager. And here we have two documents, the equipment su supply contract, as well as the service agreement for installation. Now, in case you were wondering, you can still see in the certificate of completion vendor A and vendor B's email addresses because they're part of the same envelope. So you cannot hide this. You can only hide the documents that were included in each envelope. And this is how DocuSend document visibility works. If you need help setting up your DocuSend web forms, templates, and integrations, you can schedule a consultation with one of our DocuSend automation consultants using the link just down below. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing.